Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Girl and welcome to episode 19 of Mean Girls Senior Year. I have no longer got my nice little white background behind me because as you may or may not know, I am no longer at home. I am currently traveling around Southeast Asia and at the moment, as I look out the window, I am in Vietnam, in Nha Trang. If you don't already, you can go ahead and follow my travel adventures over on my vlogging channel. I will leave a link up at the top now and down below in the description if you fancy going and checking that out but let's go ahead and get on with episode so episode 19 as gretchen's party rages on help comes from an unlikely source regina let's see what goes on oh so here's karen i'm here with shiny new yale undergrad regina george whose dead grandpa owes her three million dollars regina what are you going to do with all that money i think i'm going to start a charity the Regina George Foundation to provide counselling and fashion advice for complete losers who've been the victims of bullying. Wow, really? Hell no, I'm going to invest it. I have my eye on a pink convertible. Are you still going to take us to Carbo? Jeez, Karen, don't be so greedy. Sorry. Regina got into Yale because Greeno Jensical finally admitted she was a backstabbing skunk. So sweet of you, Green Eyes. It was the right thing to do. So if you're not going to Yale, then where are you going? Well, I've already dropped at University of Evanston, so everything's kind of in a flux at the moment. Regina? What? Green Eyes helped you get in, so are you going to help her out, right? Excuse me? Oh my God, she's not going to help her. Of course I am. I'm not going to hang her out to dry, Karen. Do you have to paint me like a villain all the time? Don't worry, Greenoid, I'll figure something out tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's jacked up. Well, sorry if my schedule is not convenient for you, whoever you are, but Ben Algura is home from college and he wants to hook up. Boo! Uh, presser, let off the hook. Let's presser. It's no big deal, there's just 200,000 people watching. 310,005. 310,005 people. Huh, I guess that is kind of a big deal. I guess we'll go find the admissions gatekeeper then. And do what? And rip that gate off its hinges. Ugh, come on. We need to plunder Gretchen's mum's closet. Huh? The Dean of Admissions is Dustin P. Swanson. That is the most bleach white name I have ever heard. Go change into something black. We need to minimise nighttime visibility. Don't want to get caught. But they're Gretchen's mum's clothes. Oh, fine. Ruin your outfit if you want. Um, we can't change. We haven't got the gems. Let's stay in our current outfit. I wouldn't feel right. Whatever. It's not that cute anyway. Beep, beep. I've got an address. Already? Let's go. They're off. Move. Regina, where are we? Where are we going? But how do you get his home address so fast? I'm Regina George. If I want to know something, I find out. So true. Crap. What? It's a gated community. Oh, there's security there. It's not good. How are we going to pull this off? Uh, come on, let's sweet talk the gate guard. Scale the fence. Let's sweet talk him. Where's this greenoid been all year? Can you cry on cue? You're asking the dramatic lead of Mika Bergman's tragic masterpiece, The Love Delusion, if she can cry on cue. You don't have to be a snot about it. <laughs> Hi, we were hanging out with a friend earlier and she left her phone at his house. Uh, what's the family name? See, if you call the house, his parents will wake up and it'll be a whole thing. Sounds like you have a problem then. you have to try in the morning. <laughs> the truth is, I left my medication in there. And if I don't get it now, I'm going to pass out. Why are you dressed like that? And I have to change my tampon. <laughs> it's going to ruin my clothes. If in doubt, pull out a little period thing. That's going to always work. <laughs> Freak him out. I can't believe that worked. Of course it worked. Such a period blood terrifies men. 
so true. <laughs> now what? Now we wake the beast. Hello, Mr. Swanson. Oh, may I help you? Yes, you may, Mr. Dunst Dustin P. Swanson, Dean of Undergraduate Admissions. How do you find where I lived? It's called the internet. Try it out sometime. If this has anything to do with university admissions, this is the most outrageously inappropriate. You jacked up my friend's intent to enrol. Oh God, Regina, please don't make this worse for me. Uh, take the wheel. Let's let her drive. Here she is, all excited to go to your stupid little school, and then out of nowhere she gets a letter confirming her withdrawal. Except, except she didn't withdraw and you need to fix it. If the young lady would like to discuss this, she's welcome to contact me through the proper channels at an appropriate hour. Hmm, predictable. Deposit money just up and disappearing like that. It sounds to me like your department might have a cyber security issue on its hands and it would be a real pain for you if, say, a major media outlet got a word of that breach. Why don't you say what you came to say and then get off my porch? I should mention that this whole trespassing in the middle of the night business is really more my speed than hers. I gathered that much. Mr. Swanson, let me tell you about this girl. When Greenoid first moved here, I could not stand her. In class, she raised her hand every time. I mean, every single time. So what? Is she a goody two shoes? To the nth degree. Is she a know it all? The very worst kind. Because she actually does know everything. It's so annoying. Hey. Imagine trying to compete for a GPA rank against that. I seriously pray she would get hit by a bus. <laughs> really? Greenwood had her pick of any school, but she wanted to go to University of Evanston. I mean, she turned down Yale. Is this true? Oh, enough of it. I did. And if I can't get this cleared up, my entire future will be bulldozed by a clerical error. Or a malicious hacker. Point being, 10 years from now, Greeno Gemsicle is definitely a name you want on your alumni list. Greeno Gemsicle, was it? Yes, sir. Oh, he's on his phone. I'll have my secretary check the admission list in the morning. If you're on it and we receive your deposit, she'll send out your welcome paperwork. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, woo! Shh. Woof, woof, woof. Sorry, thank you, sir. Good night. Hmm, good night. I think we may have achieved something. Regina, after everything we've been through, tonight, this, thank you, really, thank you. Call it even. Whoa, does this mean Regina and I are friends? This has been a fun little detour, but there are like five other parties tonight and people are expecting me. Come on, I'll dump you at your house. Hard to tell. <laughs> Why are you pouting? You just got into U of E. I just don't know how I'm gonna get Mika back. Oh please, do you know how many guys have come calling back to me? I'm gonna get some food before party hopping. Eat with me and I'll tell you how to get him back. Really? But you can't go dressed like that. I'll give you an outfit before we hit the town. Oh, 50 gems, get rid of your secrets on winning back Mika. No, we can't do that. No thanks, I should get back on my mumble freak. Lame, yeah I know that's lame, but we have not got gems to be doing any of the stuff that you think we should be doing. Oh, we're back at home. Mom! Oh, she looks really sad. Where have you been? I'm sorry, Mom. I should have told you about everything. You can start now. Everything? Where to begin? Okay. I want. I always wanted to go to Yale because that's what the file said about my dad. I thought if I went, I would be the kind of daughter you wanted because that's the kind you literally picked out. Maybe. So I worked really hard to be that. And when it started to slip away, I freaked. I ended up doing something really cruddy. You can tell me. I used Mika's phone and texted his dad to get that recommendation. Then he found out and so did everybody else. And on top of it all, Yale wasn't even what I wanted. So I ruined everything for nothing. I'm sorry, Mum. Everything just got so complicated. You're growing up and when you do that, life gets complicated. Sorry I let you down. 
you didn't let me down. Benoid, I wanted you and the wonderful surprise of who you would become. Not some bullet points in a file. You're the best mum, do you know that? I try. I just wish we had talked about this much, much earlier so you wouldn't be in the position you're in right now. That's actually what I was trying to figure out. I talked to the Dean of Admissions tonight. Tonight? What do you mean? It's two in the morning. I know, but mum, they're gonna let me enroll. Oh, Greenoid, that's such a relief. And this is what you really want? It is. <laughs> a different school then. And I actually have my eye on their theatre programme. <sighs> well, whatever you decide, you better let me know if you have a performance this time. I will, I promise. Two in the morning. <laughs> I can't punish you. After all, I did teach you to be a strong and independent woman who goes after what she wants. Yep, my dream coming true is definitely all your fault. I'm really proud of you, Green Eyed. Good night, Ruby. Love you. Bzzz. Oh, the phone, who's this? Oh, Katie, meet me for pizza. It's important. At this time of night, uh oh. 2 a.m. pizza. Mm, I'll go some pizza right now. I could always go for pizza though, to be honest. So this is where everyone goes at 2.15 on prom night. Katie, I'm here. Where are you? Where is she? Um, at, I'm at the booth in the back. Okay. Bzzz. I'll let you take it from here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you... You use Katie to get me here. Real mature, Greenoid. What are you talking about? She texted me and said there was an emergency and then you show up. Oh, Katie. She just texted me too and told me to come over here. I had no idea. Whatever the reason, I still don't want to see you. <laughs> Bye. Mika, please. Please, I messed up. I messed up a long time ago and instead of fixing it then, I just let it get worse and worse until I messed up us. But I'm making it better now. Oh yeah? How do you expect to do that? by being honest with my mum, with my friends, with you, but first, to myself. Okay, do you want a trophy? I gave up my spot at Yale. I don't believe you. Um, convince him or don't dwell? Um, don't dwell. It's okay, I don't blame you for not believing anything I say. Okay, well, I'm out of here. Oh, he went, maybe you should have tried to convince him. Crap, I gotta stop him. Maybe if I... Who are you but a shadow of my soul? Oh, here we go. Where in the depths of my callous, cold heart do you hide? Everyone's watching. Oh, dear. Love, it can feel like a fight to the death. But if you both set down your weapons, it's not a fight. It's actually a dance. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Everyone's cheering. Mika, I set down my weapons. I buried them. Please give me a chance to prove it. Yeah, Mika, give me a chance to prove it. I don't get it. You obsessed this whole year and pretty much sold your soul to get into Yale. If I'd gone through with it, I would never, I would have been committed to being that greenoid. I don't like that greenoid. I wasn't such a fan either. Mika, I'm really sorry. Everything I said earlier, I meant it. You helped me realise what I truly do want, and that isn't going to Yale. So you did this for me. I didn't do it for you, I did it because of you. And I'm so grateful you helped me to come to that realisation. You know, I'm pretty grateful for a lot of things you did too. What do you mean? Like, I didn't realise how closed off I'd made myself. But you kind of forced me to snap out of it. You're impossible not to like. <laughs> Tell that to Regina. <laughs> I mean it, you're driven and you're like intimidatingly smart and confident. Because who goes to Shakespeare in the park by themselves? A weirdo like you? I'm quick on your feet. See, there are so many things. You made me realise I could like somebody again, you know? I was such I was such a jerk after that night in the park when we first kissed. And then for weeks at rehearsals. You already apologised for that. I know, but you still forgave me, which meant a lot. 
it was probably my biggest realization. What was? That I need to be willing to forgive people, especially when they deserve it. Um, ooh, you mean me? What about your ex? Uh, let's say you mean me, hopefully. I mean you. And Regina? Yeah, it's sort of a package deal with you two, don't you think? Makes sense. So, no Yale, what's the plan then? University of Evanston. But you di but didn't you withdraw? Our friend Regina pulled some strings. Not surprising. It was more of a violent yanking of strings. But it did the job. I'll be there in the fall. So will I. You're going to University of Evanston. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want my school choice to influence your decision. That's a pretty egotistical assumption, Mika. We established my egotism fairly early on though, didn't we? True. So remember back to when before tonight exploded? Like when you asked me to be your girlfriend? Uh, okay, yep, I'm remembering. Conjuring the past, Karen Smith style. <laughs> so, about that. Ooh. To be concluded, that is the end. We have one more episode left to go and we will see what happens with this whole ending of this Mean Girls senior year story but thank you for watching this episode give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon for the last episode goodbye